Hi folks, Ben from ultrabooknews.com here. Today I want to show you how to update your ultrabook drivers automatically through Intel's website. Why update your drivers? For graphics drivers like HD3000 and HD4000, you're going to get the latest performance enhancements. Driver updates usually come with title specific enhancements which make the latest games run better. For Wi-Fi drivers, the same is true. Getting the latest drivers means you're going to get the best performance, the best compatibility, and usually the best security. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is fire up your browser, and you're going to go to intel.com slash support. And I'll put that link in the video description. Now up here at the top of the page, right underneath top support resources, you're going to click automatically detect and update driver drivers and software. And then the next button you're going to press is here. It says check your system for the latest updates. Now depending upon which browser you have, you may get some sort of security dialog box. Uh, for Internet Explorer, you'll get a bar across the top. And for Chrome, um, you should also get a bar across the top asking if uh, Java can run. Um, and for Firefox, you may get a dialog uh, pop-up. What you want to do if in this case is um, uncheck a box if there is one that says let this run every time. Uncheck that and then hit go ahead um, or OK. You may need to refresh the page, um, but once you do, the website will scan your computer for all of your Intel hardware. And as you can see here, I've got wired networking, wireless networking, audio driver, chipset, and graphics driver, all Intel stuff. And over here on the right, if there is a new driver available, you will see that. And so I've got a new graphics driver available, so I'm going to drop that down. Uh, here you can see what your current driver is and what the latest driver is. And you're going to hit download now. It'll start your download down here. And this one's going to take a few minutes, so I'll be right back once it finishes and we'll walk through the setup process. Now that our download's finished, you're going to click down here to launch the EXE. You'll probably get a window like this. Just hit run. And now you're going to run your way through the wizard with the next button. Give it a few minutes, and once it's finished extracting, you're going to see this window here. Leave the box checked that says Automatically Run WinSAT and enable the Windows Aero Desktop theme. And hit the Next button. Of course, you're going to agree to the agreement. And you're not going to read the README, because it's probably too long. And then we're going to let this do its thing and install. Your screen might flash a couple of times during the installation, but have no fear, that just means it's working. Usually. Once it's done installing, you're going to hit the next one last time. And then you're going to be prompted to restart the computer, which you should say yes to. And once your Ultrabook boots back up, you will be good to go with the latest driver. Now I definitely recommend that you check Intel's site here, intel.com slash support, going through the same process that I just showed. Uh, every month or two to make sure that there aren't any new drivers that you can update to. Again, the latest drivers almost always mean best performance and uh, squeezing the most out of your hardware. So keep them up to date and enjoy your games. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.